Quick tip number one. This quick tip is going to be here using Flash CS3. And we're going to take a look at switching ActionScript versions, but more importantly, switching from ActionScript 3.0 back to ActionScript 2.0. Now, the reason you want to do this is because sometimes you're still scripting with ActionScript 2.0. You don't really know ActionScript 3.0 yet, and that's fine. You can work on ActionScript 3.0 on the side, kind of feel your way into it, but still keep using ActionScript 2.0 until you're fully ready to make the move and make the switch to ActionScript 3.0, which, by the way, is not much more difficult. It's not, I don't think it's any more difficult than ActionScript 2.0 and there's you know just some slight modifications and things you're going to need to know when working with it. But we're not going to get into that. We're going to take a look at switching from ActionScript 3.0 to ActionScript 2.0. Why would I want to do this? Well, beside not knowing ActionScript 3.0, you may be experiencing problems like this. I'm going to open up the Actions palette here and I'm going to move the whole thing onto my stage. And I'm just going to shift it off to the side, and I'm going to select this button. Okay, if you're familiar with ActionScript 2.0, you can apply actions directly to a button, like an on rollover, get URL kind of thing. Okay, but I get this little thing in my actions panel that's telling me the current selection cannot have actions applied to it. Well, that is because the document you're using is using ActionScript 3.0, and ActionScript 3.0 does not allow actions to be placed on buttons. So that's one of the things that you may not be familiar with. How do we change it? It's quite easy. Come up here to File, go File, Publish Settings, and here you get the Publish Settings dialog box. Select the Flash tab. Under the Flash tab, you've got Action Script Version. Simply switch that back to 2.0, and you're good. Hit OK, and that's it. Now check this out. Open my Actions panel back up, select the button, and I can add whatever code I want to it. Now that is not the only way to do it here in Flash CS3. Let's say you know you want to create a document and you just want to use ActionScript 2.0 from the get-go. Come up here to File, New, and you actually have the option to create a Flash file using ActionScript 2.0 right off the bat, so you don't have to go into your published settings and make any changes. All right, But if you have already created one using ActionScript 3.0, just go into Published Settings, make the switch, and you're good to go. That's how you do it, and this is a quick tip brought to you by tutvid.com. Thank you for watching.